Nah, yeah, this is just another typical video, you know, about Africa. Children needing, you know, a dollar a day to survive. Lions running around the hood, you know. Everyone got a, need to hop on a donkey to go see your family. You know, typical African booty scratcher type stuff. Damn, was that an airplane in Africa? I was wondering how they got to Africa. Thought, you know, they came on a boat or something, big boat. Was that a living room? Wait, is that a dining room? Wait, wait. In Africa? Like, you mean like, look, they got like tiles on the floor? In, in Africa? Oh, no. What is going on here? Wait, they got cars? In Africa? So they ain't hopping on the donkeys? Where the donkeys at, man? Man, y'all playing with me. It's Africa? They use knives and forks and spoons, silverware, plates? In Africa? No, nah, man. You, come on, stop. They, you, they sleep on beds. Come on, stop. They got living rooms, hotels. Come on, man. In Africa? And, and this is another house with, with furniture? Another dining room? Is that an is that air conditioner oh I see over there. One? Is that another air conditioner? Two or three air conditioner? Oh my god. They they've got like sofas with rugs and um tables. Oh man. I knew it. Look at that statue. That looked like an African booty scratcher though, don't it? <laughs> got the ass out, African booty scratcher. Man, they've actually got like actual nice decorations in the house I don't see the mud huts yet I'm looking though is that a car outside no man another car oh my god it's Africa man this can't be no Africa is that another bed is that another bed in Africa is that another air conditioner oh my god um obviously I've been you know I've been sarcastic and um the reason I wanted to really make this video was there's such a big misconception about Africa um, you know what, you, what you're watching right now is um, my personal footage of um, my trip to Nigeria and this is just um, my one of my uncle's house and then one of, one of my family friends house and my other uncle's house um, in Nigeria and you know in America it's it's just like, you know, you just bring up, like, Africa, and everyone always thinking, oh, I feel so bad for them, I want to donate a dollar, and I just wanted to show another view of Africa, because not, like, this side of Africa is not really shown um, at all when you think about Africa, and look, you know, yes, like, deep freezes with food in them, and like I, I get some of the most ignorant questions um, when people um, ask me about Africa. What was it like when you went there? And but I can't blame them because you know it's the power of this one story. And I'll, and I'll put a link um, of uh, this video I saw on the TED Network. Um, it was an absolutely brilliant um, piece um, that was done on the power of one story. And it's like if you see a story over and over again, that's what becomes your reality because, you know, people really don't travel. The way they learn about most places is through, you know, the media, TV, newspapers, books, and, um, you know, sometimes, you know, other ignorant teachers too. Um, look, you know, they go out in, you know, Africa. Oh, my God, he has shoes on. Uh -uh. Does he have shoes? Uh -uh. They're wearing shoes. This is crazy, yo. They have family pictures on the wall. They wear suits to work. Ah uh ah. -uh. They they actually bury the dead. They 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 are, they they, uh -uh. they don't just throw them in the bush. Ah, uh -uh. they have restaurants where they eat. And ah uh ah, -uh. this is crazy. You know what I mean? And they have buildings. Look. <laughs> Me and my trip to Africa was absolutely um amazing, amazing experience, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I just did this video to really just kind of educate you, you know, let you see Africa through another light, through someone else's eyes. Because, you know, literally, I am tired of just seeing all of 
the you know the poor stuff all the poor people and obviously there are poor people in africa there's no question about it um just like there's poor people in a lot of places around the world the actual the richest um, you know, black person in the world right now lives in Africa. He actually lives in Nigeria. He's worth about fifteen billion dollars, and um, and that's Dan Goat. And um, you know, Oprah. People, a lot of people think Oprah is the richest person, and she's only worth about three and a half billion. And you have, you know, people that are not. Most people don't even know about. And I'm not going to make this video too long. That's it. Um, this is Jabril uh, from Jabril.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, um know about uh, Nigeria that I can answer or Africa in general go ahead and ask me or actually just do some research there's actually a lot of um, info and check out some of the uh, link um, I sh uh, showed below take care